It's been a long day for homeowners and school officials in Greeley. A major water main ruptured on the south central part of town last night. And many homeowners, they are still without water tonight. And Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is live at Meeker Elementary School, which was closed because of flood and structural damage today. Unless you've learned the school's going to be closing in tomorrow. And there was about an inch and a half of water and mud on the floors this morning. And when you take a look through this window, you can see they're making a great deal of headway cleaning it up. But when you look at this window over here, you can still see a lot of condensation. That's indicative. There's still a lot of moisture inside. It was probably 10 to 18 inches high of water. This home video was shot by a neighbor who ran outside after his water pipe started rattling and his dog started barking. City officials say a 20 inch main burst last night and that some kind of surge occurred when they tried to isolate the break, resulting in six additional breaks. One of them at Meeker Elementary School. The water bubbled up through drains and through floors and through cracks that it created. Carpets were covered with mud and had to be removed. The tremendous water pressure that built up underground raised the floor and left a huge crack in the mortar joints of this cinder block wall in the utilities room. School is closed tomorrow and we are taking that time to work on a contingency plan if we need to move the school out or if we'll be able to keep kids out for just a few days. We saw some kids enjoying the day off. Homeowners who still don't have water? Not so much. Terry McDaniel and her high school age son Cameron got up early this morning. We went over to King Supers and use their restrooms to wash hands and face and bought bottled water because it's not something that we keep on hand here. They've been waiting patiently for water service to be restored. There was also some water damage at the Greeley Mall. Our morning crew shot this video after the mop up. I can tell you this, homeowners shouldn't have to wait much longer for a return of service, but here at the school, that's another question. They don't know when water service will be restored. We are told that cleanup crews had to bring their own water to fill the buckets today. Reporting live in Greeley, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. That's a big